Hi, ladies and gentlemen, it's me again. This is Dr. Jimmy Chan, and uh, we'll be talking about some of my use of the herbs and everything, and some formula uh, that I use every day and uh, share my experience with you. But before that, let me introduce myself a little bit. Um, my name is Jimmy Chan. I practiced my Chinese medicine in Taiwan for 15 years, and I moved here to California 17 years ago, and I started uh, practicing right away. So I'm still practicing. That's about 35 years. And I've been teaching, I've been teaching this pause diagnosis for, yes, the same thing, 15 years or so something like in Taiwan. I moved here and I still, I'm still teaching this pause diagnosis and all my pause and my uh, system for these uh, <coughs> clinical diagnosis. And uh, for almost 17 years, that's 35 uh, totally. So I, I did covered that the pulse diagnosis is so important in our daily treatment and the daily practice. If you're interested in your building up your own career, I suggest you pay a little attention to my pulse system. It can be very useful to you. But today, my uh, major will be focused on the uh, using the herbs for certain purposes. For example, today we'll be talking about the uh, surface, the releasing the, the, the surface exterior conditions with the herbs and the different formulas. That will be in two categories, for the cold condition and for the hot condition. For the, the we'll be talking about the first uh, <coughs> group is exterior releasing herbs, but actually this is the exterior heat releasing herbs. But before we talk about how to use the herbs, we must focus on something, like how do we make a diagnosis first? How do we know this patient has this kind of exterior heat. And what's the basic symptoms for having this exterior heat? Have you ever studied the uh, Sang Han Lun? Have you studied? Some, some of them. So, uh, some of them. Mm -hmm. Sang Han Lun. You know, Sang Han Lun, the basic spirit for Sang Han Lun is that it's exterior and interior. The Dr. J J Zhang Zhongjing is so focused on the exterior and interior condition. Because if you use your, it's the wrong medicine for a patient with an exterior condition, or use wrong uh, herbs treatment for the interior condition, you will cause a lot of trouble, more than he already has. So the Zhang Han Lun, the first <coughs> formula, what's that? What's the formula for Zhang Han Lun in the first place? It's the Gui Zi Tang. So how do we know if from the symptoms, be, uh, before we talk about the, the uh, en entire system and my pulse diagnosis, let's talk about how a, s a patient with the exterior uh, condition sh symptoms she should have. What's that? You think about it. I'll talk about it later. Uh, not later, right now. The, <laughs> the symptoms for having some exterior condition, which means you need to release his exterior condition, is the, the feeling that feel a little bit a little bit um, cold and heat, and that feeling is very sensitive. Usually, you don't care about the temperature change or the or the wind changes or the air condition or the humidity or the weather change. You don't care. You don't feel anything. But when you have this kind of exterior condition, you feel so sensitive. A little wind make you sneeze. A little change of temperature. For example, you walk. Uh, from outside and into an air-conditioned room, it's so cold and you start sneezing and runny nose and everything, all the allergic reaction turns out to be so clearly. That means you have something with a cold, it's not cold, just exterior condition. You're afraid of the exterior changes. So that's the thing you should ask about your patients. But that's the second step. In the first step, we always do the pulse diagnosis diagnosis to tell if the patient has some kind of a cold or hot exterior conditions. So the pulse will be where? Yeah. Okay, this is Sun Guan Chi. For the exterior condition, no matter cold or hot, it only appear on the right hand side is on the right foot. Most of the time it's like this. This pulse, the right turn is superficial and floating, and it's either powerful or not. But anyway, it's floating. So floating means when you touch the skin gently, the right turn, huh? Right hand side, you feel something there, 
and this that thing can be strong or can be weak. Let's let's just focus on the shape, on the right hood. When you touch it gently, you will see you feel something jumping under your finger. So that's the right hood floating. Floating means Yang Ming. Yang Ming means surface. So the floating pulse is Yang Ming. And you must combine another pulse to tell exactly what kind of a, a su the su exterior condition is. Is the left right shi. Right shi, what's the uh, uh, channel it goes on right shi? It's Tai Yang. Tai Yang means the gallbladder uh, and the small intestine channels. Those two channels overlapping and covering the entire neck and shoulder. So entire, we have a lot of uh, uh, doors on the neck that's for the wind to enter the human body. So if you find a pulse like this and a very long and strong and little bit of wiry pulse on the left shi, you can definitely tell there is something the cold wing or the hot wing has trapped inside this human body. No matter what, even he's coughing or he's uh, ha having severe allergic reaction, runny nose, stuffy nose or something. But if this one appears, you must put something in your formula to, ex to, to, to get rid of, to release exterior condition. Otherwise, the treatment will be very much helpless. Because, for example, if, if the patient has a lot of a, a sneezing, a coughing, a phlegm or something, if you go to your medical doctor, they will definitely give you some anti-inflammatory anti antibiotics and uh, antihistamine, the, the allergic medicine for you. So they, they don't know anything, the Western doctor don't know anything about the, the exterior surface condition. So usually with all those cold antibiotics, it will trap all the wing inside your body and you will never get well. You're gonna suffer that condition for many months, many, many months. So. So that's why they, 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 you should study a little bit about the Shang Han Lun. That's the ma major spirit for the Dr. Zhang Zhongjing to, ex to uh, release exterior condition by checking the pulse. He doesn't, his pulse is not so, uh, so accurate. Mine is the right foot, only the right foot, okay? But th th there are many changes in the right foot. First, the right foot can be strong or can be weak. But no matter what, when you start taking the pulse, you must be very gentle and very light on the, on the, on the pressure. Gently touch the right foot, see if it works, see if it jumps or not. If that, that way, when you touch the skin, it jumps like this, then you should keep on pushing it all the way down. If the rebound becomes less and less and less, then it's a weak condition. If the rebound, the rebound, like, we always say that the rebound is like a, a spring under your finger. If the rebound becomes harder or stronger when you press it down, when you push it down, the rebound becomes stronger. That means the heat is solid. You are free to use a lot of a very cold medicine. For if you press down and the gen gently press down, the rebound becomes less and weak and weaker, weaker. And when you press down all the way to the bone, the pulse just doesn't just don't jump at all. That means it's a weak condition. If you use too many uh, cold medicine for that, even the symptoms, don't mind too much, don't pay too much attention to the symptoms. Symptoms can be deceiving some of the time. So you should just keep on checking the pulse to know the nature of his problem. And uh, be because we'll be talking some cold condition today, so it is also very possible even the right sun is floating, and you may find some very thin lines underneath. When you press down a little bit, <coughs> you find the pulse become weaker and weaker, and uh, you sometimes you might find uh, some thin red lines underneath. That's the typical uh, cold condition. Even his flame is yellow, even his coughing uh, seriously, but still in a weak condition, sometimes we need to give him something warm to, uh, to, to release all the problems. So the pause, let me review it a little. First, 
when you touch the gently, oh, usually we touch the paws, we, we check the paws, we check the right soon first. If the paws become very stronger, more stronger or more, more rebound when you press down, that's solid hit. If it becomes weaker and weaker when you press down, the rebound is very low and low and then this finally collapse, that's a weak condition. Don't use too much cold medicine, no matter what. And if you press down, which turn out to be weak, and you will see some thin line in there, it's a, like we said, it's a small pulse, then it's in a cold condition. We'll be using something uh, in, in, in the following uh, chapters. So that, that's the most we, three conditions we will see. But also, you should combine this one. Because when you have coldness, <coughs> or, or some, some common cold, something, you have, you have neck pain or something, the neck pain always here. And this one is the Taiyang area, so that's the, uh, the neck, and, uh, neck and shoulder area. And today we'll be talking about uh, something for the uh, flu, the, the uh, virus infection. If the patient is suffering, the pulse is like this. We may say it's the fourth condition we talk about today. The right turn doesn't float at all. It's very deep and weak. Something like this. The, the right turn, huh? Left hand side is usually got nothing to do with this. The left turn, oh, I'm sorry, the right turn is weak and deep. And with this left, uh, right is long and wiry and strong, then that definitely some flu, virus infection. He will have a lot of a pain, just like the things in the uh, uh, Zhang Zhongjing, the, the, the Zhang Hanlun. It's the Ma Huang Tang stuff, but we cannot use Ma Huang, so we use something else to get rid of those conditions. Okay? So the right, if the right turn is so low, so weak, so not jumping, that could be the virus infection. The late, this patient can be very weak or something. Okay? So that's the pause signs.